What signs can help you recognize if your child is being bullied? Be aware of any changes in their behavior and in their daily routine. They may seem nervous or anxious when going to school and their sleep pattern may be unsettled. They could change their usual route going to and from school. Their grades may be falling and they may be isolating themselves. These are signs that can help you recognize if your child is being bullied. If you maintain a daily dialogue with your child, they will inevitably turn to you in time of need. And if you have any doubts, don't hesitate to talk to them. If your child's a victim of bullying, it is imperative to keep calm. You have to listen to them and recognize the seriousness of the situation. Your role as a parent is to be supportive. Ask your child to relate all the events that occurred, specifically the aggressor's words or actions. It is very important to get as many details and as much information as you can, including who was there and when it all started. Be aware of your child's feelings and try to reassure them. After talking to your child, ask yourself if these circumstances really add up to a case of bullying. You have to remember the three key facts about bullying. It's repetitive nature, the inequality between the parties, and the victim's distress. You must steer your child away from any ideas for fighting for revenge, which will not solve anything. If your child's a victim of bullying, the aggressor cannot be ignored. This will offer no resolution and the situation might get worse. You have to insist that they reveal the identity of the aggressor by making them realize that this is the only solution and that they could help any other victims at the same time. If you're dealing with cyberbullying, be sure to save all messages containing threats or inappropriate comments. Discourage your child from answering any of this abuse. The bully will only feel the urge to continue. All social media ties between your child and the aggressor should be blocked. Following these steps, you can now take action. It is very important to include your child in the process of finding a solution. The first priority is your child's safety. You have to identify one or more individuals who can intervene in case of an attack regardless of the time or place. They could include the school bus driver, a teacher, or a coach, depending on the location where your child's in contact with the bully. Ask them to set up a protection plan. You can, for example, demand that your child be let out of class five minutes early at the end of the day, or have them sit near the bus driver. Be aware that these solutions are only temporary. The goal here is to buy some time so that the proper authorities can intervene with the aggressor. You have to meet the individuals in charge with your child as soon as possible. Ask what kind of action plan can be put in effect to put an end to the bullying. These measures have to give your child the freedom to engage in his daily activities. You should also be aware of any disciplinary steps taken against the aggressor and if any support will be available for them. All these steps should be taken within 48 hours of your report. It is usually not desirable to have your child meet face to face with the aggressor. It is also not advisable for the parents to meet with the intimidator or their family. Emotions are just too strong for anything good to come out of this kind of meeting. Discussing with the individuals in charge should help you determine if police intervention is necessary. Police should be contacted when a criminal act has been committed, whether harassment, threats, theft, or physical assault. When in doubt, contact your community relations officer or refer to the SPVM website. In most cases, police officers will meet with the victim and their parents first. By meeting with you and your child, they can deploy an action plan for your situation. If the aggressor is over 12 years old, criminal charges can be filed. For more details, visit the website Educalois, which offers legal information to the general public. If you feel overwhelmed by the situation, don't be embarrassed to ask for assistance. There are trained professionals at every school 
who can supervise your child's conduct. Your child can also freely contact Kids Help Phone Line to talk to a neutral party about what they're going through. And for parents, the Ligne Parent hotline has multiple community workers ready to listen and advise you. Likewise, every health and social service center and crime victim assistance center have several programs you can use. One of the most important things to remember is that self-esteem is the best protection for your child. By helping your child be strong-minded and assertive, you are protecting them from becoming a victim. For more information, visit the Quebec government website. Log in to the positive. Also note that your child's school has established an action plan to prevent and stop bullying and violence.